this program contains some material that many parents would not find suitable for children under the age of 14. Viewer discretion is advised. Yo, what's up, Mikey? Yo, what's up, brother? Well, I was wondering if you wanted to go on a toy hunt. We haven't been on a toy hunt in a while, and, you know, the people of YouTube are asking for it. I'm tired of getting messages from people saying, Where's OG Geek? We need OG Geek! Nah, I can't today, man. I'm busy. I'm taking care of a few things. But I'll tell you what, I'll catch up with you. I'll give you a call next week. Maybe we could do something next week. What do you mean you're too busy to go on a go on a toy hunt with me? Come on, dude. It's been forever and I miss you, man, and I want to see you. All right, fine. We'll figure something out and we'll reschedule for another time. All right. I'll talk to you later, man. All right, brother. Peace. Whoa! All right, he'll never know. So you're ready to go on a hunt or what? Let's go, baby. All right, let's do this, let's baby. Go. Let's go. Tates. <laughs> Hey, Mike. You know who the man is? You're the man. No, 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 you're the man. the one that I got you out of the box yet? No, so I'm going this one. <laughs> what do you think? Am I the pool hunter? I got you both beat. Hey, look. Inception. <laughs> Inception. Inception. You know why? Why? Huh? All what? that stuff that he showed you? Yeah. He didn't show you this. What? Bam! I win. <laughs> You're gonna get the truck. You're gonna pool to the back of the truck. <laughs> Take that. Pool hunter champion. <laughs> we found my new friend, Veronica. Hi, Veronica. Hey, hey, hey. Get your own. Get your own, guy. All right. Seriously. How much did it cost you to get this? 25 bucks. <laughs> I nailed it on the third try. Really? Man, I really miss my buddy OG Geek. What's poppin' everybody? It is Wednesday and we are back on the hunt and you're like, shit, you didn't go out on Tuesday. And I'm gonna be like, well, yeah, I wanted to save this week's uh, footage because we're on, a, uh, we're on a special hunt right now. So we took the day off from work and joining me finally, so you can stop messaging me, asking me if he's gonna come back, if he's okay, if he's alive, he's a dead, you know, whatever whatever you guys wanna okay. message me. <laughs> yes, oh, so now, so now I'm dead? There he is, everybody, the OGest of geeks. What's up, you guys? I'm back, back again. I'm until, back. until he decides to go so away for another again. month. Yeah, and until he decides to listen, disappear man, again. I just keep you guys wanting more, you know? <laughs> it's like, you don't know when you're gonna see me next. You see me when you see me, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's, like, it's like word, you heard? <laughs> and then, however, however, joining us, all the way from New York is the is one of the best guests we've ever had on the Geek Show. One of my closest buddies that we talk to all the time. One just one of the greatest YouTubers around. I'm, I'm building this up because this is an e epic introduction. I'm here with Century TMC. What? Poppin', baby, New York and Florida. Let's go. Well, I'm technically New York still too. I don't identify as New as, York and yeah. Florida. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I don't identify as a Floridian, <laughs> even though I've been living down here for forever. I still identify as a New York. That's right. So, what's going on, dude? Dude, I cannot believe the time has finally come. This is years in the making. It has. Man. It is definitely is years in the making. Amazing. Um, we're super excited because he's in our area. Um, we're gonna sh take me and Mike are gonna take him to all the places that we go to, and and he's gonna get the grand royal treatment right oh i feel it what is that oh what do you oh, feel god it's, oh. Oh, it's my it's, oh, it's, it's, my, it's, my, it's on the, fire it's gonna hurt it's, it's gonna fire. hurt it's gonna no, hurt it's, not, it's on fire we're gonna take you to some place it's gonna hurt I, so, I know that's gonna it's gonna hurt bad so guys ron's here we're gonna have some fun today um we're actually here right now outside of tate's which is the first spot we are going to take century to on the century world tour yay <laughs> and mike's like hey guys <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, guys, let's go inside and see what they got. Here, right now at the front, here's some uh, DC Multiverse figures uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Tron, Muppets, some musician stuff, 
uh, Superman and Batman Earth 1, Commando Spawn, some Ninja Turtles, some Black Series stuff. Uh, here's the uh, Bill and Ted Wild Stallions, the uh, Playmobil DeLorean. Uh, let's see what else. Here's the, uh, the Hot Toys section for the Marvel. So we've already seen or have all these already. So it looks like they haven't gotten anything new in in the way of here. Um, however, I did see posts this morning that they did up their wrestling display. So they got some cool stuff here. They got uh, NWO Nash, Jeff Hardy, Stone Cold, um, some of the uh, classic superstars, the Headbangers, Dude Love. There's a Legion of Doom. There's a three-pack of the uh, Wyatt family. Uh, we miss you, Luke Harper. Uh, got Shawn Michaels. We got Triple H, got Braun and Rick Rude, got Macho Man, DDP, and Dean Malenko. We got Jericho, you made the list edition. Got Shane McMahon, Velveteen Dream. This thing here is pretty cool. Uh, got NWO of uh, Hall and Nash. Got Bootios. Got a few defining moments. Um. Here's another case. They got a Legion of Doom uh, two pack, Demolition three pack, Axe Smash and Crush, it's Jesse Ventura, Edge, British Bulldog, King Booker. There's uh, Typhoon and Earthquake, Dudley Boys. They filled this case up pretty good. You got uh, Ultimate Warrior and Papa Shango. You got Gallows and Anderson. You got the Nasty Boys over here. Here's some basics. And then uh, look at these two uh, mooks over here. Yeah. You know, Hi, what you call me? We got the uh, OG and Sentry doing their thing. Looking at perousing the uh, the turtle dicks. This is, oh man, turtle dicks on fire. Right? That's what I'm saying, man. Turtle dicks on fire. <laughs> turtle dicks on fire. See, now we're doing Inception. You're recording me, I'm recording you. It's Inception. First time ever. There, Channel that's right. first. Channel first, everybody. Inception right here happening. It's an out of body. <laughs> Got some Turtle comics. Here's some more of the vintage stuff. Some more of the Transformers. And then now me and Mike are having our Inception moment. <laughs> Let our cameras touch. Not a focus on. Um... All right, we're going to keep looking around, and uh, yeah, so hang tight. We've made our way over to the Star Wars section. So here's some more three and three qu quarter figures. Uh, here's some more vintage stuff. We got the Child Clapper. Uh, ooh, we got a uh, Millennium Falcon in there from Kenner. Um, got some Micro Machines. Some more three and three quarter stuff. Uh, Sabine Wren. Some stickers. Uh, here's some other miscellaneous stuff. Here's some more three and three quarter figures. And then here are some of the mini busts. Uh, some more droids, Imperial Guard. I like that Vader bust. Uh, let's see. There's Luke, Lando, Boba Fett. There's the Mando bust I just bought last week. There's Gogru. Oh, hey, baby. Look at this. Hey, baby Yoda. How you doing, buddy? Size. We got some uh, other Christmas order. Huh? Talking to baby Yoda. It's like he's in the class. Some big time trust issues after that intro. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, our commemorative plates. So, are you all like on, uh, are you on like collector overload right now? I can't. I'm not even, I'm actually not even speaking now. I'm like yeah. drooling from the mouth. And yeah. Giggling, and I don't even know. You're recording in silence. Yeah. <laughs> at, at this point, I don't even it's know. What silent, to say. It's a silent video. Hot toys, we have these. Yeah. Cool. So, um, I'm just enjoying watching watching uh, Ron take all this take I, all this in. I, I I can't take it in, and then film is just like. Yeah. Sometimes it is hard to take it in. Just yeah, saying. It is. Didn't think. I'm even not looking to see what I want. Yeah. Because I'm not walking out of here. I forget. There's only the first door. Of the yeah. Thing. There's only the first door, dude. Face yourself. I, yeah. I can't. I, it's, it's never. Never it's like the wallet, the wallet's ready to jump out of his pocket. It's so bad. <laughs> yeah. Look at this, is my kind of case right here. Get the, some more uh, Star Wars stuff around here, some more older figures. 
you guys can see. Oh, look at this. Sexy Chewbacca. <laughs> Sexy Chewbacca. I'm Chewbacca and I know it. <laughs> Sexy Chewy. I like that. That's a good one. Uh, got Obi-Wan. Yeah, some, some good stuff. All right, guys. We are going to continue to look around. All right, guys. We are here right now at stop number two. And this man is all giddy right now and excited to be at Bits and Buttons. So we're going to go inside and see what they got. He might buy some stuff. He's definitely going to buy some stuff. And I might pull the trigger on some stuff. So, yeah, we'll go inside and see what they got. So let's go. Oh, oh, we doing behind the scenes stuff? <laughs> behind the scenes. It never fails. You heard him, guys. All right, we're going inside. All right, guys, so we're here in bits right now. Here's all the, uh, the vintage turtle stuff. You guys can see. Here's some carded, carded stuff. Here's the other case with all the other vintage stuff. The pizza tossers. The pizza thrower, I should say. Got Ray Filet down there. Got the Channel 6 news van. Some other stuff. Here's OG Geek. <laughs> Ron's really big at I know. vintage. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ron, Ron's... It's on, like, Donkey Kong with Ron right now. Ron's, like, having a field day. Look at that. Is that wrestling? <laughs> wrestling, vintage Star Wars, everything, dude. Like, he was telling me, he's like, Oh, I can't wait to get down here to come check out Bits and Buttons. <laughs> and, of course, there's the sole proprietor of this establishment. What's up, I man? Want to, I want to get your face a lot on. Of, there's a lot of videoing going on right you wanna, now. You want to you wanna tell the good folks again about the event that's coming up? That's right. That's oh, right. Hold on. Let me, let me whip it out for you. Oh, hey. 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 hey, hey. Watch out now. All right, guys. Up and under. Got to do a little publicity. Here you All go. Right, so don't forget, guys, June 5th. That's right, guys. June 5th. Marty Abrams, the CEO. And let me let me get it even. Oh, oh okay. Hold on. Oh, you want to go into the Migo? Let's go to the Migo wall. All right, guys. We're on, a, we're on a field trip right now. We're going to the Migo wall. All right. So we'll do it in front of the Migo. Oh, yeah. So Marty Abrams, the gentleman, the CEO of this fine action figure company right here, Migo Corp. Um, we'll be here June 5th signing autographs for charity. Not only will he he be here signing autographs for charity, but James Spence Authentication, better known as JSA Authentication Group, will be here including JSA certificates at no charge to the customers. What? With their autograph Migo. What? Um, so you guys will be able to not only purchase yourself because you got to purchase the Migos, but you will purchase Amigo and you will get get it signed by Marty Abrams himself for twenty five bucks, and Marty it comes. Abrams. With a JSA certificate, guys, you go to a Comic Con, you're paying forty to sixty bucks just to get into a Comic Con, and then if uh, an average guy at a Comic Con is going to charge you fifty bucks to get an autograph, okay, and then you got to pay another twenty five to fifty bucks to get it authenticated. You come here, you spend forty bucks, guys. You're going home with an autograph piece of action figure history cert certified by JSA, guys. So June fifth. Two to four, if you can't make it, if you're not local, join us on Facebook. We will be live on Facebook on our page, taking orders. Uh, for those of you guys that cannot make it, so be sure to follow us, guys. Be sure to join us June 5th, 2 to 4 p.m. Back to you, Seth. There we go. <laughs> Cut, <laughs> cutting <laughs> promo, cutting yeah, promos. Right? Yeah. So, so, all right, guys. So, if you got all that information. What I'll do is that I'll leave the links in the description below for their Instagram and as always for their Facebook group. And again, you guys can check them out if you guys want to partake in any of that stuff. So with that being said, let's get back to the store and find some stuff. Because I want, I want to buy some shit. It's the Star Wars case. We're looking at. There's all the Black Series figures and everything. He's got the Elite Squad. Uh, Bo-Katan. He's got a bunch of Mandalorians in. He's got a Clone Commander Wolf. Uh, Jawa. Zeb. Jar Jar, a bunch of the archive series stuff. So, Tusken Raiders. Got a bunch of the new retro three and three quarter stuff. So, there's the uh, the Mando bust that I purchased last time I was here. Um, he's got more vintage stuff coming in. He's always got stuff coming in, guys. So, here's some more of these that are actually in uh, protectors, which is kind of cool. So, and then here's more three and three quarter stuff which is pretty cool and then here's here's a uh, out of box loose turtles so 
and there's Splinter, well, Shredder, and there's Austin Baxter week, Stockman. Uh, look at him. 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 Look at him while he's in the water. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. It's like it's like ice cubes in here. Yeah, yeah. Ron's like, I just went from six to midnight. <laughs> so here's all the uh, NECA stuff. He's got some loose NECA stuff. He's got some Kill Bill stuff. That's actually pretty cool. Some of the Crazy 88. He's got Go Go. Here's some uh, Nightmare on Elm Street stuff. Um, some old school NECA. He's got Enzio stuff from Assassin's Creed. Oh. Here's a bunch of Mortal Kombat Mataros, Back to the Future, Ace Ventura, here's a bunch of Toonie Terrors, Wild Stallions, Greta, Marty, all this stuff, all this stuff. Here's some Dragon Ball, My Hero Academia, Dragon Balls! Got Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. We got the... Uh, we got yo that's my that's my girl dude i would do all kinds of unspeakable things to her oh there's no question there's no question oh and if you want to know who we're who we're talking about we're talking about alexa bliss so alexa bliss if you're out there and you watch my videos i would do ungodly things to you and a stri oh yeah beyond that beyond that I would do ungodly things to you. I think you're the most gorgeous thing ever. So, all right. <laughs> so, here's uh, more Lucy out of box stuff. There's the Taco Bell dog. Alf, Alf stuff. Out of Vinyl Nations. Got a bunch of vintage He-Man stuff in there. Got Dragon Blaster Skeletor. Got old school He-Man stuff. Here's some more He-Man stuff. Uh, let's see, we got Battle Battle Armor Skeletor, He-Man. We got the uh, Diamond Select Muppets figures. Got a bunch of Ghost Ghostbuster stuff. Here's a bunch of uh, Super Seven Reaction figures, which is cool. Uh, here's some GI Joe stuff. Oh, there's uh, Gung Ho and Roadblock and uh, Cobra Commander. Uh, here's some three and three quarter stuff. There's a bunch of Boglins. Got the Works family. Um, let's see what Ron's doing. Let's see what Ron's doing. Oh, he's so excited. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Got some Thundercats stuff. Uh, got Crash Test Dummies, Captain Power, Mask. Here's some Thundercats and Moo Mesa. Some of the food guys. Uh, Silverhawk, Sectosaurs. Here's uh, Power Rangers. Transformers. I think. Got Ultra Magnus. Full circle. Here he is. Oh. There he is, another out of body experience here. Oh, <laughs> it's in, it's inception. Like, it's inception. It, it feels so good. It, you're inside me and I'm inside you. That, oh, well, that didn't sound right. And on that note. Hey, look, and by the way, there's Dick. It's yeah. di oh, tons of dude. There's tons of Dick. Dick. He's got Dick everywhere. Look at all. That's a lot of, that's a, I actually that's a lot might, of Dick. I actually might grab some Dick to be honest <laughs> before I leave. All right, folks. So uh, you heard it first. Ron's going to grab some Dick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to contemplate <laughs> over Dick and then uh, maybe grab some. Yeah. And then, Figure out what we're gonna oh, get he got here, the spawn but, uh, figure. I didn't even see that. Yeah, that's that's cool. pretty much, yeah. Summing up the, the bits and bobs. Yeah. Right this is I know. some amazing, yeah. amazing stuff. You're, you're in heaven right now, dude. I know. Dude, I'm surrounded I'm by damn <laughs> You got G.I. Oh, Joe, yeah. three and three. There's some Street Sharks, more Transformers. There's mask stuff in there. So, all right, guys. We are going to continue to look around. There is something that I am particularly interested in picking up. Um, I'm going to go take a look, see if we can work something out. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned. Star Wars set, the first ever toy set of Star Wars ever released. Still sealed in its packaging. And it is the very special double telescoping Luke, still sealed in the bag right there. <laughs> Freaking guy, moving my camera I'm out trying of the to way. Film here. I'm filming too. Still has the mailer box and all. And it still has all its catalog paperwork like, that was inside. He's like, he's like, I'll give you an eye.
Try right, you convince people. How much you want? Fifty bucks? Yeah, all right. You're perfectly happy. Fifty dollars? What? Seventy five? That's like signing your life away, dude. That's like you need to sell your house. Oh, you don't have a house, so it's okay. You live at you. You go Airbnb. So you might have to stay sleep in the car for a little bit in order to afford that too. You know. Is this for sale or not? No, this is getting graded currently. That's crazy. Here's the other <laughs> super rare piece: an original Kenner Boba Fett letter from Kenner saying we're sorry to a kid's parents. For uh, the Boba Fett yeah, not I mean, being a rocket firing, like extremely that, like, rare piece yeah, like, right there. The original like, mailer like, box like, of Boba Fett, that, and it was signed by the voice like, actor Jeremy Bullock right like, there. Like, and the original Boba like, Fett was never even taken out of its bag. It is still 100% sealed. You can see the air is nice and tight in there. So that air is from the 80s. Yeah. yeah. Right? <laughs> can you imagine what that smells like if you open it? Yeah, right? <laughs> He still has its original cat. Uh, how much to open it to sniff it? Yeah. He wants to sniff yeah, it. Right? I don't so, want to sniff it. <laughs> if you buy if you buy it and open it, I'll sniff it. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Right here. There it is. The original Boba Fett oh, yeah, ad saying we're sorry it's not a rocket firing. Oh, that's uh, that's cool. One of a kind. Yeah, think, only the cool kind of stuff you will find here at Bits and Buttons. At Bits and Buttons. Bits and Buttons. Yeah. So here we are again, folks. We're back looking at the rocky stuff and uh, god this stuff just has so much sentimental value to me because you know this is obviously in my household what we grew up watching and i love rocky movies i love them all uh i'm just trying to trying to bring myself to do this but i, I don't know if i'm there yet i really don't um i am going to continue to look around though um i'm contemplating grabbing some wrestling stuff um, I just don't know which ones I want because, again, he's got so much wrestling stuff. And I want to be selective about what I purchase when it comes to this stuff because I only want to pick up, like, characters and, and guys that I, that I like personally. So, um, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to continue to look around. And, uh, yep, uh, we'll see you guys back in a few. Guys, so as you can see, we spent an abundant amount of time stepping on Mike because Mike's <laughs> behind me, fucking creeping. I got a the rest of the <laughs> so we spent an abundant amount of time at Bits and Buttons because this guy just like absolutely fell in love with that place. I can't. What can I say? Yeah. Nine hours in there. Yeah, <laughs> nine hours. Say, these guys, at least, they were kind enough to let me go. Okay, so yeah. we're 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 here right now at Target. Now it's not Super Target, so we won't get super depressed, but. We're still going into a Target. It this, was your super idea. Though. It was my super was idea. Super he doesn't want to go into Target, though. No. I'll just right here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. All right. Let's go inside and see what they got. Guys, we are down the figure aisle right now, and we've got uh, John Morrison, Drew McIntyre. Oh, we got, hey, we got, you have Mr. Wonderful. Oh, Paul Peggy. Well, we got the UFC figures. I haven't seen these. Look at that. Got McGregor. Wow. Uh, let's see. We got Panthor. Now some guy keeps some guy keeps telling me that every time I see a Panthor, it's flocked. Um, good sir. Plastic. 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 Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we got Space Jam. We got some Motu. Oh, look at this. Do you have a spring-loaded Ram Man? Oh, Ram Man. <clears throat> oh, do you have a uh, John John R. Raymond Arnold? Oh, here's some of the uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier wave. Here's some uh, DC Multiverse, some Transformers, and yeah, we got a uh, we got Bucky, we got U.S. Agent. And there's Captain America. So there you go. Look at that. Didn't you want these? Yeah. There you go. You got three out of the six now. You might have just undercut. You might have just undercut Ron. Oh, he found part of the Captain uh, Captain America and Winter, uh, Winter Soldier wave. You know what? That's all you. I don't collect those. Um, Actually, I hope you buy that, Mike. Hey, we got a GI Joe sighting. Be here. 
<laughs> we got a G.I. Joe City in Cobra Commander. He's been hanging around. Lately. We got some Shang-Chi. Oh, that's definitely going to be hanging Poor around. Poor Caddy or Katie, however you want to call her. Let's see. Uh, Marvin the Martian. Oh, yeah, Marvin the Martian. You were looking for him, too. Finally. See? Oh, I don't want to go into a Target. I don't want to do Target. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Merry Christmas. Very good, actually. So, all right. <laughs> Um, there you go, yeah. another channel first. We're crushing these channels first. There we go, crushing these channels soul. first. Now we're back to inception. doing inception again. Oh, it feels so good. oh, no, no, now it's a three way inception. Oh, now it's right, I'm just behind the scenes. I'm documenting. Okay, we're all documenting. Okay, I'm buying this. What's the first? I'm buying that. Oh, the Ram Man, nice. Yeah, I'm buying it. See, you come to Florida and you find shit. Yeah, all right. Um, uh, let's go check out the uh, the net. Oh, you know what? Yeah, well, You're, a You're a guest. You're a guest. Can we go to the NECA section? I'll let you see. Can can we go to the NECA Funko section? Can we go to the NECA Funko section? Oh, we're totally going to the NECA Funko oh, thank section. You, but hold on. Oh, hey. It's a unicorn. How much is that? A Lego <laughs> unicorn. How much is it? How much is it? It's magical, though. For you? All right. Let's go to the NECA Funko section. We're at the NECA Funko section right now. Here's some Dune, some Mego stuff, yeah, Halloween, yeah. Wolfman. Mike's going hard on turtle stuff. We got Elvis. But I also don't need to buy this here. Yeah, Kong. We got Billy Eyelash. Mike's blocking the Funko Pop stuff. Excuse me. All right. There's the Shred Splinter. You need Splinter? Pop? Uh, no. Got some of the mechs, Marvel Mech stuff. I think, uh, I think that's it. So, all right, guys. Um, I think that's it. We're going to keep looking, and uh, if we go anywhere else, I'll let you know. If not, you'll see me in a few. All right, guys, we are back at my house right now, and Mike and Ron are dropping me off. They still have a long trek ahead of them. So, as always, guys, make sure you go subscribe to this guy, the OGest of geeks. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, I will leave the link in the description below from my man, OG Geek. It's good to see you back on the hunt, brother. I missed good you. Good to be back. It'll be nice that Miss people. It'll be nice that people could finally stop messaging me and asking me where your whereabouts are. I was actually going to put your picture on a milk carton, and <laughs> and you know put out an APB with the police to see if you could be found. But we found you, so it's all it's all good. I want to miss you. <laughs> and this guy over here, Ron, Century the Mad Collector. Hi, dude. Now it's by. It has been nothing but the utmost pleasure to be in your presence. You are a true professional likewise my buddy. friend this has been amazing i can't thank you guys enough this has been this has blown away any expectations i may have had so and thankfully this is not romantic so it wasn't online i didn't even care what you guys looked like it was all about the personality and nothing disappointed so this was amazing did thank you, hear, you guys did you hear that much. folks it was a match it was oh it was so again i will leave the link in the description below for Ron's channel, so please go check him out. Show him some love. Show him some support. Let's get this man's subscriber count up there because his content is definitely well underrated, and he should have more views and more subscribers than he currently has. And that's not being an insult. That's just honestly saying that this guy deserves a ton of credit for what he does. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. I like sitting there, the jealousy is brewing. You never talk to. You never talk about. You never talk about my channel like that. Anymore. Way. Yeah, you know. All I get from you is OG snitches, OG thieves, yeah. and coming co co coming soon. OG betrayal. OG betrayal. That's what I get from you. Ron comes down for one day, one day, and it's fucking Google Gaga. So and no hunt and no hunt video would be complete without me doing this. It's so hard to say goodbye to OG Geek and Century TMC, the Run the Mad Collector. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to head back in the house now. I'll show you everything that I picked up, and then I'll see you in a second. All right, guys, and we are back inside. So let's start this off right. We got a mail call. So let me show you guys what we got. Um, I got this from a good buddy of mine. His name is Figure Kong on Instagram. So me and him are always chatting back and forth. He's also a, a member and, and subscriber to the Marvelous Knights YouTube group. So thank you, man. Much appreciated. Um, so he contacted me. 
um, about this because I couldn't find it. Diamond Dave cooped it from underneath me. And uh, he goes, hey, he goes, I found one. He goes, you want me to send it to you? And I was afraid I was never going to find one. So I'm like, yeah, go ahead and send it to me. I'm like, thanks, man. I appreciate the help. So, yeah. So uh, I know what this is. You guys will probably know what this is because I've already uh, mentioned it um, earlier in other videos. And, uh, you know, and of course, it's for an event that's coming up that we were talking about as well. So, with that being said, anything else in there? Nope. Jesus, bag after bag. Figure con, what are you doing, dude? You're killing me with the bags, bro. Bag. And finally, the last bag. Here it is, people. The one, the only. He's a Teen Wolf. So we got the Teen Wolf Mego figure. So thank you again to my man Figure Kong. This is awesome. So I'll definitely be using this for that event over at Bits and Buttons. Um, I will get him to uh, sign this. And as Dominic said, JSA is going to be on site authenticating the signatures for free of charge, which is awesome. So this is super cool. I love Teen Wolf, man. I'm an 80s kid at heart. This movie is just freaking awesome, and I'm so glad that I got this, because he's a teen wolf. Wolf. So we got that. So that's what we got in the mail today. So thank you to my man, Figure Kong, again for that. Um, with that being said, guys, um, we were at Tate's, uh, nothing at Tate's, and then we went to um, a Target, didn't find anything at a Target, but we were at Bits and Buttons, and we did pick stuff up at Bits and Buttons. Now, I'm going to be real with you guys. Um, this, to me, and I don't say this often, is like a personal, personal grail. Like, to me, this is something that's meaningful, um, holds not only significant meaning to me, but to, you know, experiences and things like that, and... And, you know, the, the, the movies and how they've had impact on my life and, and things like that. So, for those of you that don't know, I am a huge, diehard Rocky fan. I love all the Rocky movies. Five is like, meh, we could have done without it. But still, I love all the Rocky movies. They're great. And I've been going back and forth at Bits and Buttons for the past couple of weeks because they've had these figures. So, I finally pulled the tr trigger on these. So... First up is the Pauly and Apollo Creed and Rocky Balboa from Rocky 3. I know this is something out of the realm that I normally don't collect. But again, just staring at these figures, looking at the pictures, all the emotions and everything that, that come to me when looking at this, I just, I had to get it. I had to get it. So we got the Rocky 3 3 pack and I got to tell you, for these being made in the time that they were, and um, these are being made by Jack Specific, these figures look fantastic. I mean, the sculpt on Pauly is like really good. Apollo Creed is good. Rocky's really good. So this is just this is just awesome to me, and and I'm so glad that that I got this. Now, he also had another item to do with Rocky, and again, this is another one that I've been going back and forth about, and today was finally the day. So here it is, guys the six pack of Rocky figures Rockies one through six oh, god these figures are just freaking awesome and I'm just like I'm just so in love love with this set again like this is just awesome but then it's funny because like now looking at the back of the box you can see right there they have a Rocky a Rocky four set which is uh you know obviously the red white and blue trunks when he was training in Russia, um, Drago's wife, Drago in the boxing ring, and then Drago when he was training. I've got to see if I can find these now, because, like, Rocky IV for me is, like, the ultimate. You know, that is everything that the 80s was and then some. Again, that's how much Rocky means to me. So, I grew up watching the shit out of Rocky IV. So, this is awesome. And, again, the details on these figures 
are freaking awesome. So I am going to have to find a place to put these on display because I do want to display these in my room. I will keep them in the boxes, but I will put the boxes on display. And actually, you know what? I think I just found the perfect spot for them. So yeah, guys, that is going to wrap up the, um, the hunt video for this week. Um, thanks again to OG Geek for hanging out. Also, I can't thank Ron Century, the Mad Collector, enough. Uh, such an awesome guy, and, you know, me and him talk all the time, and we've been talking for years now, and the fact that we were finally able to meet, link up, and do a hunt together was just fantastic. This was probably the most fun I've had on a hunt in a long time, and it's the same reason why, I shouldn't say that, because I had fun when I was in Georgia with everyone, too, and, but just being able to pick another person's brain that does YouTube to see what they go through compared to what you go through. And you guys are, you know, bouncing ideas off of each other. It's the greatest thing in the world. I love that. I love picking people's brains and, and you know, because then it, 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 it makes me think of things that maybe, Hey, why didn't I think of this? Or, or, you know, what can I do better to, to, to put out better content for you guys? So again, I will leave the links in the description below for OG geek and century the mad collector. Um, I'll also leave the link in the description for the Facebook um, group for bits and buttons. So like Dominic said, they're going to be doing a live thing on Facebook. And if you guys are, can't make it, you can reach them through the Facebook um, thing. So you can do the uh, Marty, uh, so you can get your Mego figure signed by the, um, by the CEO, Marty Abrams, which is awesome. So make sure don't forget about that. And uh, yeah, guys, so if you like what you saw, please be sure to give a thumbs up. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe. As always, be sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time another episode of What's Poppin' gets uploaded for your viewing pleasure. As always, you can check out all the excellent content we offer right here at MCE. And until next time, guys, that's what's poppin'. I just love this. I love this. It's the... Eye of the tiger, it's the thrill of the fight. Oh, God. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one.